Hi everybody, I'm Joanne, Major Account Manager at F5 and a self-professed shopaholic. Hello everyone, I'm Kunal, VP for Marketing at F5. And we are here today to answer some questions about combating e-commerce fraud from the internet. Alright, let's go to the first question. Why is protection against e-commerce fraud more important now than ever? So Kunal, you know e-commerce in ASEAN is booming. Digital economy is expected to grow threefold in the next three years to $300 billion. That's why it's important for the merchant to future-proof themselves from the new ways of e-commerce fraud. I'm with you, Joanne, on that. In fact, fraudsters are really becoming very innovative nowadays. Recently, I read in the local papers that loan sharks in Singapore are using food delivery services to actually harass their customers. So, fraudsters are digitally transforming themselves. So, it's really important that e-commerce merchants and platforms make sure that they have a really strong security posture to protect themselves. Why is account takeover and how does it impact organization? So, Kuna, you want to take this? Sure, Joanne. Account takeover is a form of identity theft in the credential marketplace. It is deemed as a type of fraud where the malicious third party successfully gains access to the user's accounts. Now, many organizations have implemented anti-bot technologies. However, fraudsters are constantly looking at ways to circumvent these technologies and target unprotected servers to gain access to customers' accounts. Yeah, it can happen to us on our daily activities, simple tasks like buying coffee through our mobile apps or gift card as payment. Hackers can carry out account takeover with the help of bots to do credential staffing. So, Joanne, how we combat account takeover is through the use of anti-fraud solutions, which allows merchants to detect compromised accounts in near real time, even before a breach has occurred. Oh, so it's about offering proactive protection for end-user customers, consumer like you and me? Yeah, for sure. Combating fraudsters is something that needs to be constant and in near real time and not a one-time thing. So using AI and machine learning, we ensure that our fraud solution stays flexible and relevant. Taking data like attack profiles from other industries like finance industry, and then applying it and training the model for our e-commerce merchants and helping them detect good, the bad, and the ugly bots. For example, recently we worked with Starbucks, you know, the famous coffee chain, to actually help them with a very similar problem with their gift cards. And in fact, it turned out really well that they were very happy with the solution. How is online retail industry being targeted by fraud? Okay, this one I'm quite familiar with it. I'm sure. <laughs> I personally shop on several platforms like Zara, Sephora, GU, and I'm guilty of reusing my password over and over again. It makes me very vulnerable and valuable to the fraudster, right? So once they have access to one of my passwords, they can access to all my entire accounts. Yup, this is a real problem, Joanne. Organizations, especially those with brick and mortar stores that are looking to digitize, need to understand how to handle these risks. Typically, a genuine user device is associated with one or two accounts. Fraudsters devices can typically have to 100 or more accounts associated with them. Fraudsters use bots to aggregate the data and to hold inventories, blocking genuine users from actually buying them. Can you imagine, you want to go to a concert for Coldplay and the tickets run out within just a few minutes. I had an experience when my yeah, daughter wanted to buy yeah. tickets. The solution can be a system that actually helps identifying returning users from Frosters by analyzing the user context, like whether it's Joanne or it's Kuna, and then determining their intent. This is a solution that we actually offered to one of our customers because they had the same issues with their shopping carts, which was being blocked by Frosters. You know what? One more cool thing that we could do, our technology could actually recognize the same browser if the user switches from the regular mode to an incognito mode. And that further helps identify if the user is a fraudster. Isn't that cool? Wow, that's pretty cool. Are there any new types of e-commerce fraud that has surfaced recently? Okay, like we mentioned just now, right? Froster these days are getting increasingly innovative and we started to see a rise in collusion fraud. Collusion fraud occurs when two or more parties conspire to defraud another party in a digital business transaction. We are seeing more and more of such incidents in real life where the consumer and the individual assisting in the logistics collude to cheat a digital platform with stolen credit cards, often charging high value orders and tips. Kuna, on top of that, right, an online F&B platform attributed to around 3,000 fraud use cases targeting around 350k worth of tips in just three months. Wow. That's really a lot of money. We recently worked with one such organization, a digital platform that provides online processing, payments, and logistics. These activities require services from different providers and several other processors in play at the same time. There are more avenues for hackers to attack because the, the threat footprint is large. It's an opportunity for them to make quick money and target returns that are generated from cashback or tips. The detection of collusion fraud it's particularly tough because there are usually two or more parties involved in such a fraud case with multiple transactions involved, which makes it difficult to spot anomalies. Organizations definitely can take steps to protect themselves using machine learning algorithms 
combined with artificial intelligence techniques to help identify patterns of pollution fraud. All right, that's all the questions we have time to answer today. I hope you guys have learned more about e-commerce fraud. Yes, fraud is like an arms race. Fraudsters will eventually figure out a workaround. We hope we have managed to give you guys insights into some of these very real issues that are happening every day impacting the e-commerce marketplace. Stay safe and practice digital hygiene. I'm Kuna. And I'm Joanne. Till the next time we meet, stay safe and keep combating fraud.